Hi, this is Steve, K8BZ. Uh, there's a, currently a discussion on one of the forums on QRZ.com regarding um, applying for DXCC and receiving the uh, DXCC certificate. And apparently some uh, folks are having some difficulty with that. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick video here to maybe help clear up a little bit of that. So let's open a new tab. Let's go to Logbook of the World. Now this is assuming you are an ARRL member and it's also assuming you are a Logbook of the World user. So you're going to apl be applying through Logbook of the World. Now I'm already logged in. If you weren't logged in, you would have to log in with your username and password. And we're talking about DXCC application. So we're gonna click the awards button here. Then we're gonna go down here and select the DXCC award. And this shows what credits you currently have, what your current totals are, and what you would be entitled to if you applied for credit for confirmations that you already have. But we're going to make an application. So that's over in this left column where it says application. You click that. And let's then it brings you to this screen. I'm gonna I'm gonna uncheck all of these. If you're applying for credit for DXCC you need to decide what do you want. Do you want mixed? By mixed I mean mixed bands and modes. So all of the individual DXCC entities. Or do you want a specific band? Or do you want a specific mode? Phone, CW or digital? Or do you just want them all? Uh, I think most people making the initial application will probably want them all. Now you can go over here and you have to check which confirmations you want to get credit for. You can go through and click them, click them individually. You can go up here and click check all, and it'll select them all. These are the ones that I already have confirmed with L Logbook of the World, but they're not credited to any award yet. Uh, let's clear them all. Let's say you're just interested in getting uh, your digital DXCC. You can click digital. It'll automatically go through and select your digital uh, contacts. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through here. Let's, let's check them all. I'm just going to check them all. Now, your, what you decide to do may vary. Now, we're going to continue on to the next screen. The next screen just asks uh, if you have applied already for another award already in the calendar year of 2012. I have not, so I'm going to check no. If you have already applied, it saves you a little bit on the application fee. Now, I think this is the screen where everybody runs into trouble. On this screen, you have to select what certificate you are applying for. You're going to get credit for all of those contacts, even if you don't check any of these, but they're not going to send you the DXCC certificate. You have to tell them which one you want. In my case, I, the only one I've ever gotten their certificate for is just my mixed. Uh, so I have a DXCC certificate that was issued, I think, in 1984. I currently have 335 entities on that certificate. I also have nine band DXCC, but I'd never applied for an individual certificate for CW phone, digital, or individual certificates for these individual bands. I, I have credit for them and I could. I have over a hundred uh, confirmations on all of them except six meters, so I can, if I want, check all of these. They'll charge $12 per certificate for each one I check but I don't need to check any of them if I don't want to. But let's just say I just I want to get the digital certificate, so I'm going to check that. Well, let me, well let's uncheck it first. I'm not, I'm not going to check any of them. I'm going to leave them all blank. So, but I'm still going to pay for getting the confirmations that I selected on the previous screen. You verify your name and address here. You move on to the next screen. And it's going to tell you what you're paying for. You're paying the application fee, you're paying a credit slip fee of a dollar, and you're paying 12 cents for each of the credits you want credited. But there's nothing on here saying you're getting a certificate because I didn't ask for one. Okay, so let's back up to the previous screen. I'm going to go up here and ask for the digital certificate. Bang, right there. Now we'll move on to the next screen, and you'll see there'll be an additional fee now it's going to be a certificate fee for digital plus shipping. Now you can get up to four certificates for the same shipping amount. So when you applied, if you didn't see a certificate fee on here like that, you're not going to get a certificate. 
if you are not sure what you did, the best thing to do is call or email the DXCC desk at ARRL and they will let you know what the situation is. So you can still pay and get credit for the confirmations, but you need to buy the certificate once you're eligible for it if you want it. It's just like me, I don't want all these other certificates, so I never bought them, uh, but I still have the credits. Oops, let's move forward again. I backed up a little too far. I still have all the credits for all of these, but I didn't want any of the certificates, so I never bought them. So they didn't charge me for them, and I didn't receive them. So you've got to tell them what certificate you want, or they won't send it to you. Uh, so that's the, that's the whole process. Let's go back here and click digital again. Bang, right there. I'm going to go down here and click continue. And then all I have to do is put in my credit card information and click Submit Application. And with COVID delays, I'm not sure how long it takes, but uh, it may take, may take a while to get it. I'm not sure. But uh, when I, anytime I've done this before COVID, I got the certificate back usually within four weeks, six weeks. Uh, I got the LOTW credits immediately, uh, usually the same day. Uh, same business day or the next business day so that happens relatively quickly so I hope that's helpful to folks that are trying to apply for uh, DXCC and get a certificate you've got to tell them you want it or they won't send it uh, you know I some people might want want to build up the credits ever every so often and wait until they can get uh, several bands at the same time to do it all in one application process so there might be other interests and other things that people are going to want to do where they're going to hold off on their certificate, get it later, or in my case, several certificates I'm eligible for, I'm not ever going to get because I don't want them. Uh, I have the one I want and I have my nine band, my five band DXCC with four additional band endorsements on it and that's good enough for me. So uh, hope this was helpful and hope it will clear up a little fog. But if, it's, if, if you have a pending application and you're not sure what happened, contact the ARRL and they'll work with you very, in a very quick and friendly manner and get it, get it straightened out. So good luck on your DXCC and I hope this is helpful.